Most of us have known days when an icy road surface makes driving very difficult or even hazardous. Well, slippery roads would be a daily problem, even in dry weather, should grip not be one of a tyre's main properties. And remember that for every tyre, grip is an essential property, since the contact area is tiny, barely as wide as your spread hand. Here, two materials of opposite nature meet. The road, which does not change shape, and tread rubber. A tread is both plastic, like modelling paste, and elastic, like a spring. Applied to a clean and dry surface, rubber is a little sticky. This results from grip, a product of molecular interaction. Its suppleness enables rubber to conform to the road surface irregularity. We call this indentation. Let's take a closer look at indentation. We see that road surface roughness varies depending on the pavement type. Macro roughness of between one millimeter and one centimeter. Under a microscope, we notice smaller roughness, 10 to 1,000 times finer. This is micro roughness. Although invisible to the human eye, it plays a key role in ensuring grip. But back to rubber. When riding, rubber behaves as if permanently overcoming asperities, each one sort of like a mountain. And though it complies, rubber offers some resistance to the obstacle. This is actually a good thing, since this is precisely what generates grip and prevents slippage. All would be for the best if something did not occasionally interfere, namely rain. For when road cracks are filled with water, the rubber blocks have less surface contact to grip the road. A 10 dry gripping rate will drop to 5 on wet roads and just 1 on snow or ice. As a result, depending on the road surface, grip while cornering becomes less predictable and braking distance can double. Not to mention hydroplaning, should the water film in front of the tyre penetrate in the space between the tyre and the road, which will occur more easily at high speed, especially if the tyre is underinflated. But no need for us to leave the car in the garage, for solutions exist. Let's see what they are. First, tyres are designed to make a rounded imprint upon the ground in order to better break into the water film. Then, the grooves between the rubber blocks form channels in which the water can be stored or evacuated from the rear and the side. Finally, the sipes cut in the rubber blocks behave like claws. Ways to enhance grip while retaining other performance criteria are multiple. Tyre structure, tread pattern and design as well as rubber formulation are all variables we can adjust. Michelin Research achieves concrete results with a concrete objective. Keep improving mobility across the board. New tyre generations will save up to 25% wet braking distance. A gain which sometimes makes the difference and helps prevent an accident. Michelin, a better way forward.